Hello everybody, I'm Dan. I just received my new Rigol DS1045Z digital oscilloscope today and the first thing I need to do is compensate uh, the probes. Um, I basically purchased this scope as part of my tutorial series for Java programming on the Raspberry Pi. I've got my Raspberry Pi sitting right over here and uh, uh, ultimately I'm going to use this Raspberry Pi to serve as a uh, remote control module for a 10th scale Toyota Land Cruiser RC car. Uh, pull that up in the web browser. I'll move that over here real quick so you can guys see what I'm going to do with this here. Okay. Um, so uh, I'll be showing my subscribers how to write an Android app to communicate wirelessly with the Raspberry Pi to control the steering, drive, motor, and controlling accessories that I attach to the vehicle. Um, and of course, the Raspberry Pi program, programming end, you know, for controlling the vehicle will be done in Java SE um, using the, uh, the GPIO uh, pins, port pins over here. So I'm going to use my pointer here, right? These port pins right here. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and power this thing up while I'm just jibber jabbering away. Now, um, so this particular uh, scope has four channels and also got like four of the probe wires here too as well. So, and you should have received a little, uh, couple little bags here that look like this. And they have these rings in them there. I already put the yellow ring, all the colored rings on there. And we're just basically looking for this, this little black thing here, which is uh, just basically a little plastic screwdriver there, a little flathead plastic screwdriver on one end there. And we are going to use that plastic screwdriver here to turn the little screw that's inside of here, okay? Maybe you can see that in there, but basically we can put that in there and, uh, and we can twist that from left to right, okay? Now, um, on the side of the, of the probe wire here too as well, we also have this little this little switch here, right? Then we have 1x down here and we have 10x up here. And uh, that's the uh, attenuation switch there. So we want to make sure it's set up here to 10, 10x first, okay? So um, on the screen here, we're basically up, up to our, it's finally booted up and whatnot there. So, um, so now we just need to make sure that each of the probes are properly configured to each channel. So we need to locate the compensation signal output terminal and the ground terminal. And they are right over here. The top one is the compensation signal output terminal and the bottom one is the ground terminal here. Okay. So we're going to be attaching the uh, alligator, the earth alligator clip to the ground one on the bottom down there. And we are going to be attaching the uh, probe to the to the top one there which is the compensation signal uh, output terminal there so um, channel one I'm going to turn off my light up top here there so you can kind of see which lights are on here so you can see we're set to channel one up here and then I'll go ahead and turn on my light back up there so we get a little better view on that and then we'll just go ahead and plug this signal generator in there. Okay, now sometimes you have to hit this auto button right up here in order for it to, you know, for the waveform to come up, but uh, this one, uh, this one came up, so do this little clicking thing and redid the waveform there. So you'll notice the waveform uh, basically is overcompensated, right? It's pointing up to the top right there, okay? And if we were to, if we go ahead and, for example, I'm gonna just unclip this guy right here. And I'm going to set him down to 1x, right, on the attenuation, and clip him back in there and press the auto button again. Within a couple of seconds, we should get our waveform back there. There we go. You see how they're, they're like, perfectly squared off? On, um, you know, that, that's because uh, if you accidentally have it on the 1x, you can sit there and uh, turn this screw back and forth and back and forth as much as you want and you will never see anything change up here uh, as far as them being squared off right so let's go ahead and switch that up to 10x there hit our auto again a little click throughs we'll get our we'll get our waveforms back here in a second there 
And you can see actually, you know, it's dinking around and now they are undercompensated. The, how the way the squared off is kind of going down like this. So now that we're on the uh, 10x atten attenuation here, we can kind of twist this up or twist it down or whatever, right? But we are trying to just basically fine tune that and produce as flat a possible on the squared off on the wavelengths there. Okay, and once we've got that set, then we're then we're all done with this particular channel here. So we can just go ahead and unclip our our earth ground there and unclip that one and set that one aside there. Now, um, it is recommended that. Uh, that each probe wire is compensated with each channel. In other words, don't take the blue probe wire and compensate it to channel one. You know, it won't make necessarily a huge difference or whatnot there. So we'll make sure that uh, our blue wire here is set to 10x. Clip our ground there. Clip our probe there. Hit the auto button. Wait a few seconds. And what do we got here? Let's hit the auto button again. Oh, you know what? I'm over here on let me turn off light here real quick there. So I got channel one up. I wanna I wanna press this twice to turn off that. So then I've only got channel two going up. And then I want to hit the auto button. All right, hold on. I'm going to unclip channel one. Should have been a little bit more better prepared for that there. So channel two is the only one that we've got hooked in right up. I'm going to hit the auto button here. And we should get our waveform here in just a second there. Okay, so there's our waveform on that. And wow, that one's actually come up pretty good there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn back on my, my little light there. I am on 10x, so uh, just taking... Put the little screwdriver in there and twist it and back and forth and just you know make sure everything looks that i'm really happy with the results there okay so that one looks pretty good let's go and unclip that unclip that i'm just going to disconnect channel channel two and now let me find my pink probe hook it in Really doesn't make a difference whether you hook these up first or not or whatnot there, but uh, let's go ahead and hook that up, hit auto. And our purple one, let's make sure I'm on, oh, no, see I'm on the 1X, so I need to switch that up to the 10X. Hit the auto again. I'm straight out of the box, two of them were already on, two of them were on the 10X, one of them, and two of them were on the, the 1X there, so obviously we need to compensate this one here. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. Go there, one more to go, and we're done. Okay, and this is kind of this uh, dark blue color. It almost looks black on these on these probe rings, probe wire rings. Put the earth to the ground and hook up the probe to the compensational signal output auto. And we are on 10x. And there's our signal, it's off pretty bad on this one here. So let's go ahead and come out here and right there. That looks that looks pretty decent to me. Okay, so we got our flat, nice squared off waveforms here. I'm gonna go ahead and unclip that. Clip that, and we have now successfully compensated all of our oscilloscope channel probes there. So, um, I'll go ahead and just turn that off. And basically, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.